Hi, it's Andy again, and I'm going to do a tutorial today on how to do a tabbed layout. So you may notice that a lot of apps have a tab bar underneath the action bar, and you can navigate your fragments by cl clicking on the tabs on the top. So this is going to be a real quick, easy tutorial on how to do that. So this is going to be our main activity. This is going to be the app itself. Um, what I have done is I've created four blank fragments with uh, nothing but a text view that says this is fragment one, there's another one that says fragment two, fragment three, and fragment four. Um, so that's already been set up. I have these four fragments and here's their classes to go along with them. And what we're going to do is develop a tab layout and then <clears throat> when we select the tab it's going to replace the tab that's currently visible with whatever one associates with the tab. And to do that we need a, a tab listener, which is what we have here. But before I go that, I'm going to break down on how to use the tab to layout. So I'm going to be using Sherlock, uh, Action Bar Sherlock, so we need to start a new Sherlock fragment activity. And then uh, we, this is basically to get that, um, we're going to name it, that Sherlock, um, the Action Bar, just Action Bar. Uh, makes makes it a little bit easier in our following code, so we don't have to say get support action bar dot set navigation mode. We can just name it, and then whenever we need to refer it, like we do down here, it's all named already. Uh, so otherwise, you don't need this unless you are going to put a lot of things. It just makes life a lot easier. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to give it a name. Now, if you don't put anything for the title on the action bar, it just defaults to whatever your app name is. But you can name it whatever you want by setting the title. But we have to, to in order to do these tabs, we have to set the navigation mode to tabs. Um, and that's done by set, um, either action bar, which is what we've named the action bar, or get support action bar dot set ac navigation mode, and then we're setting the navigation mode to tabs. So then we need to uh, create the tabs. So the first tab we're doing, we're just doing fragment one, um, and we're going to give it a title. So this is just the tab bar at the top. We're setting the what it's going to say uh, on there. We can put an icon in here, which I'll show you later. But I'm going to run it with icons as well. Um, you can do both. You can do one. You can do the other. It doesn't really matter. But you can, the way you do that is by saying new tab and then set the text or set icon. Uh, so these are our four tabs are right here. And then next we need to set up our fragments that we're going to be putting in there. So this is just uh, calling the fragments. is. So we're going to name this fragment, fragment one, and it's going to refer to class fragment underscore one. So Every single time we reference this later on, it'll or right here, it's going to be referring to this class right here on the left. Next, we have to set up a my uh, a tab listener, and the reason for that is whenever you click on the tab, you want it to switch your fragment. So this is basically we're going to name them all the same tab listener, and then the, there'll be another class called my tabs listener uh, down below. And then the next thing we want to do is we want to physically add the tabs. So we have to do um, action bar dot add tab because if you don't do this, it doesn't get added. And then you want to say what you're adding. So we're adding this one, we're adding this one, and this one, and this one. So next step to be would be to um, add your uh, tab listener. Now we you can just do class my tabs listener whatever you want to call your listener implements action bar dot tab listener um, if you uh, these are auto generated things that are associated with the tab listener so in order for this to run you have to put this in and then implement these three specific subclasses or methods sorry um, but the one that actually does the, all the work is right here it's just a simple little we want to replace the fragment that's in the middle and I refer to that fragment by creating a frame layout in the XML file I just it's just a placeholder there's nothing into this frame layout it just has a name and a width and height uh, so then when we 
launch it, when we select the tab on the top, it's going to automatically replace that frame with what we want. And what we want is to replace this fragment. And that is done by setting this, where we, when we select the, that tab, it's going to replace it with this fragment. So it's a pretty easy concept, I think, when I when you lay it out this way. Um, there's what this code can be mashed up, jumbled up. You can put all of the each corresponding frag one, frag two, frag seven, all of that together. But um, I wanted to split it up this way because I think this is an easy way to look at the code. Um, so what what does it look like when we run it? Well, on uh, on a smaller device, let's say a phone, when you have this much text at the top, it doesn't all fit in. And it, instead of splitting it into two lines, it's going to make it scrollable. Now on a tablet, that doesn't happen. Because you have that much space, you can put that much text up there and it's not going to do anything. But when you click on it, see it's replacing the fragments with another fragment. Alright, and then, so what does it look like when you put icons in there instead? So we're going to put up a few icons and we'll run it again. So we can do set icon. Let's put some default Android ones in there. And I like the IC ones, so we'll just, or IC's uh, ice cream sandwich. That's when these icons came. About so put delete. I mean, it doesn't really matter. We're just Pick some random ones. All right. So let's save this and we'll run it. Now this is going to have both the text and the the icon in there. So when we run it, it looks like this. So you have both the fragment text and the icon in there. And you can set it where you just have the icon alone. So you can just delete this out. And we'll run this as well so you can see what that looks like. just an icon and it's automatically centered okay so that's it for this tutorial I'll be uploading the source code in just a little bit um, and uh, the next tutorial I figure we'll do a view pager version of this so uh, when we swipe it'll switch fragments and um, so it'll be it's I guess nicknamed swipey tabs is what you'll probably find examples online for that so that'll be the next video all right have a good day